Welcome back guys to another video with Andrew Penman. We've got a dope grip application installation first ride and actually a bonus comparison against a cheaper um, so option there with a the smaller hex. Look, a big thank you and shout out to Ben Buckler Boards in Sydney at Marrickville. Online, check out the description field below. Ben will have all the stock of the dope grip as well as all your electric skateboard and one wheel and unicycle needs uh, as well as all the Evolve uh, parts, whatever. Uh, look, it's got a great setup there. Check it out. Thank you, Ben, for this video. This is not a paid advertisement. It's an independent review assessment of these two types of dope grips. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, we'll take you through before and after photos and a test ride, and this will give you a really basic indication of how to attach this on a simplistic way and a more involved, more advanced way of applying this to make it look absolutely incredible. Sit back and enjoy. Thanks for joining me again. Dope grip application. Hey, let's get into it. Today for this dope grip unbox and first ride, I'm using my Onan. This is a beautiful board. It's 4,200 watts times two, which is 8,800 watts here. Uh, it's a gorgeous board that comes with this grip tape look and the Onan Signa in the middle. I don't really like that. So let's just save uh, timing. I've already taken this um, off. So let's just pull that grip off there. And we take this grip off here. You do this with uh, a razor blade and you do it with um, uh, terps you'll get it smooth like that when you finish that's the, the deck to gorgeous deck look at it. it's a big spoon um, concave in there uh, with these typical reminiscent of the land yachts uh, kinks on the side here stingers grab your foot in so this is a beautiful deck it's a gorgeous deck it's already sprayed black so I'm gonna spray it black now we're gonna put on the uh, dope grip and I've got my Zulian scene here it's gonna change the whole look of this uh, this dope grip's amazing, and we'll get the uh, spray work done now. Next thing you do, you tape up the lines uh, right around the, the board, so you can then put a plastic bag over all this. Uh, I've got nice black plastic bags I got from uh, the garbage bags, which will make a nice, neat, small unit. I'm recommending this Scotch tape. It's a Scotch Blue, hash 2098. It's like a soft, flexy, uh, beautiful, sharp lines. It's called ultra sharp lines, not cheap. This is about $23 Australian or 25 bucks, but it's it's more like plastic and you can peel it off and peel it on and it's forgiving and it just can go around corners. So tape up the base, do that to this whole board and then we'll put the plastic bag on and we'll get ready to spray. What you do, you cut the bag open until it's a full size bag and then you just go around, lay it over and just go around and push this in all the way around like this on one side here, all the way around. And by doing this, you'll eventually be able to do the other side, tighten it, and you've got the complete sealed um, box ready to spray. Okay, when you finish, it should look like this. You've got your sharp line here. You've got your plastic bag covering the whole thing. It's a nice, neat little unit ready to flip over and spray. Okay, guys, what you'll find, you'll be end, uh, end up with this. Uh, there's the uh, two boards. The one on the left is a board I'll show you later. It's a uh, Vestar V2. I'm doing a really funky surf-orientated deck transformation, but you'll have that look on the two right boards. Welcome back, guys. Today we've got a transformation on a couple of decks here. We're going to be using uh, in road testing, unboxing the dope grip, as you can see here. Um, it's got its hexagonal cuts all ready to go. We'll put them on the front and the back of the Onan. Uh, I'm going to put one of my Zulu Shield stickers on the center. I'll also do from M Boards, big shout out to Mike Baird in the States. Um, we're going to do the uh, cheap um, budget uh, designed um, dope grip, which hasn't got the same exact thickness. As you can see, they're square, smaller hexes and they're a lot thinner. So uh, we're going to try them on both boards and see what we think um, on those particular, uh, and again, the Zulu Shield will go in the center of these. So it'll give a, an overview of what is it all worth all the hype, the dope grip. So we'll check it all out today. Okay, so before we get started, there's a couple of preparation things you've got to do in terms of getting your board ready. And you might see here, I've actually done a flat black mat. And if you can look at that, it's actually quite a gorgeous finish on that. Um, what I used is simply flat black spray paint. I used Berger and I taped it up like you can see here. Uh, I always try to gently un unravel this because I can use it again and again, this kind of cocoon set up for uh, the, next, um, the next boards. They just slip right over, which is pretty handy. You can use it again and again. 
once you've got this complete thing done, as you can see, just comes off like that. Cover off both of them now, including the Onan four wheel drive, uh, as you can see there. And we'll come back and we'll get ready for preparing the dope grip and the M boards hex grip. <laughs> Okay, so once you've got all the decks sprayed, uh, I recommend getting a clear um, flat to paint over it. That gives it a complete flat look, but it also means that when you get these little hexagonals on later and you get dirt in there, you can do what I do and tilt them up in the washing sink and wash them with a brush and you can scrub all the rubbish between all the hexagonals and having a clear coat of two coats on here, which was really thick. The stuff I used was just a wattle clear flat, um, uh, clear, and that gives you the same effect as just a flat finish. So yeah, once you've done that, you're ready to go. So let's start with, uh, we'll put on the um, dope grip first. So we're gonna put the dope grip on top of this Onan four wheel drive. I think I'm gonna do it on both ends. Okay guys, so this is what I recommend. This is why my videos are so good with these hacks because I give you uh, an engineer's point of view how to do this. We've taken all the hexes off and we've got them all loosely put here. I've tried to rearrange them in a way I thought would work, but it just looks wrong. So let's use the stencil that comes with which actually they remove from. If we line up that on the board, we can see that we can actually get it right down in pretty much that spot there. So I'm gonna put them in that spot there, which looks really good as a hex design, and I'll fill the back in with a few uh, bits at the back, which will kind of still look good. That's what I recommend doing, or you can just put them in how you want, but the whole idea of this hex is to have it like a cell, a cell look, so it does look uniform. So let's get on with it, and we'll put them all on. Now I recommend getting a pencil and marking them, and then manually putting them on. That's why it's gonna be uniform, and you can get them lined up. If you actually put them on the actual thing you can't see this area here where you're going to miss the edge of the board you'll just have no idea where that is so that's the only way i recommend doing it and don't forget it flexes so as the deck's concaved you get that full exact spot where you're going to put these so you just mark it with a pen pretty much lightly uh, each hex and that will give you an idea where to put these You can see that that has worked quite well. You can see that, that square there. And this will be hidden by the, the actual grip. In fact, I might even stick it on with a bit of sticky tape and we'll go for that. We'll speed this up so you can see how it's done. By marking the sticky, the sticky tape or the masking tape on the actual movement, they're not moving much. And when you take it off, you'll see the hexes are all there ready to go. Um, and actually, that gives me a perfect spot where to put them all. Uh, and now I can see they're gonna sit in there just absolutely beautifully um, in the right spot. So that's what I recommend doing. You won't see this later because the, uh, the actual uh, grip will actually hide it. Um, and you won't see that at all. So let's put them all on and we'll have a look. Okay, from your angle, you can't see all these little pen marks. It's a black pen, so it comes up a little bit like a, a red color on there. So we take it off, yeah, they look really nice. So first one I can see straight away, put the corner in there, corner in there, and just get it into position like that. Actually, you've got to, you've got to have a gap between it, so there's a line there to make sure you line it up. Okay, and we'll just do it lightly for now. Do not push it down super hard because you may need to move a couple. Uh, but initially, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, this is going to look pretty dope. <laughs> no pun intended there. Well, what I might do, this is going to uh, bore you a bit, so I might speed this up with a, um, with a time lapse so you can actually see uh, the whole process. Just keep those gaps exactly where you want. Now at the moment, um, Dope Grip are using, um, they're using this standard gap, this one. Now I think personally that's too narrow because if you actually look on an angle, it looks like there's really no gap between them. So having doing it now, I'm just gonna move it all, which will come up more. So let's just take them off. That's why I'm saying don't put them on super hard. 
Let's just get, make that gap a bit bigger. You've got a guide now, so you can actually see where it's meant to go. And I think that gap there is, is a lot better. Uh, we'll do that gap a bit bigger as well. Move that out to there as well. Again, keeping it just let straight. You've got to keep them in line with where you were, had initially written them out with the pen. That to me looks better. I think that gap, it looks like a, five, a six mil gap. I think that looks better. Uh, let me see, yep. That gap makes such a difference. So just make sure you adjust the gap how you want it. The whole image will just sort of move up a bit, but it will work well. Let's speed this up. See that went on really nice. Now I've used the pen, a standard uh, big pen, as a spacer. So if you want to know what the space I'm using, the big pen is the space. A couple a little bit out, but they're pretty good. Now you're left with two left over, and we'll work out how we're going to do these now live with you. Um, how I'm going to actually do this. Um, right, I think actually to keep it like that would be the best. What do you reckon? Give me a thumbs up on the uh, video if you think that's the best. I think that's better. Um, keeps those those gaps the same. And I think if I had it anywhere like that, it would look a bit, bit of a big gap. Uh, the only problem is when I take your trucks off, you've got to cut through the, you've got to do it anyway for the nuts. Let's do that, okay, so I think that's the go. But uh, from Andrew Pem and YouTube, this is what I do. I recommend the best application process. And I honestly think this is probably the best way of doing it. Um, it really is accurate and you get it aesthetically looking good the minute you, you look at it you know it's right. I have to trim these ones off the side here. Now I do uh, recommend getting a razor blade, one of these safety razor blades and trimming it and we'll do it from the top. I like doing it from the top, I can see where it is and uh, you're also not going to cut the, the board edge, you've got a nice spray black on there now. It's pretty tough stuff. It feels like you're cutting the board, but you're not. You're cutting the, there you go. I like that slight rounded edge, like a bevel, so you're not gonna lift it off in one chunk. So make sure, and you can always touch up the black paint, uh, texture color if you want. You will have a little mini diamond left over. I think we will put them at the back. They do look kind of cool. Um, again, keeping the straight edge there. Make it look a little bit filled in there. I think it will work really well. Now on the second one, I've just realized if you don't want to do the texture marker with a stencil, which does leave a couple of marks because we spaced it more, you can get rid of that option, uh, that, that method. And what you can do, well, you'll still need that. You'll still need the stencil. You can actually line it up like that. So find out where, oh, that's the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, find out where you want them like that. And you can then use as a guide and go, okay, that's that one there. And I can put it there on gives you a better indication where they are but this will effectively do the same thing again you want that gap of the pen in there and just put it like that so again using the stencil and now i know the next one is going to be pull that off don't get anything on there now the next one's going to be here so you're just going to put it here like that that's probably the way i would do it um uh, you have to move it across a bit because you see you've got to clear that there so that goes there like that and that's how we're going to do it. So I think that's a better method. Uh, you get little lines here from where I drew the pen, but I mean, essentially that works. Uh, again, use, be careful with your fingers. Just use two fingers and start from the middle and go out like I said before and go right out to the edges, no air bubbles, then go right round pushing the complete grip down to the complete board, flattening all that foam on each edge so nothing will, will lift later. Okay, so when you've done that, there's no really use for that. You may want to put that on a board for a, a bonus grip tape. Um, get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, look at it. Um, the camera can pick that up. It is such a sexy look. So the owner has gone from a quick, complete transformation, owner X2, uh, it's a four wheel drive, it's uh, 8,000 watts here. Um, 
actually it's um, a beast of, oh there's another one there, um, yeah it's a beast of a board this, uh, 8400 watts on here, 16, uh, 12 horsepower, so yeah it's a beautiful, beautiful electric skateboard. So there you go, that's the dope grip, I'm going to put my uh, Zulu shield on the sec, on the centre, cut that out with a piece of clear grip tape over that keep that protected and we'll do that right now and then we'll come back with a final product how it looks we'll move on to the uh the new m board um hexagonal grip i'll probably do it again the same on each end with the zulu shield in the middle let's get into it so i've just uh peeled off my zulu insignia uh and put it on the top of the um of the onan that's gonna have a little a little diagonal or triangular or hexagonal clear on that. So that's it guys, that is the dope grip on the Onan X2. Four wheel drive. There you go. Uh, hex grip from M boards. So let's get it on and we're gonna do the same to the system and we've got a little guide in here how to do it. Let's get it on. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do here, it comes with a nice wooden little guide you can see there which lines it up, and it is actually the same width as my pen, which is the width I like, which is really cool. So we're gonna use that. I recommend getting a razor blade um, and making sure you nip it off with that because it's so, it's tricky to lift up. It's really sticky stuff, this, uh, and it's high quality, like it's gonna sit beautifully on here. Um, so let's have a look. We put, I'll put these on slowly and I'll then show you later how it's gonna all look. Just put them on lightly and don't, push them down hard yet until you know the actual um, the design you're going to do. But then we're just going to work through here the whole way up to about here. Uh, I'll come back in a minute. I might speed this up for you guys so you can see it. <laughs> see now by following that process now they all look pretty good we've got a spot there for the front and the Zulu shield on there so now all you do is just one once you're happy with the look and always look at it from different sides different angles lift the board double check it all looks good and it does look really good I'll just show you how good that looks on that angle there you go the light on it so once you're happy with that grip you just push it all in but this is a lot easier you won't wreck your fingers you won't ruin all you your grip on your uh, iPhone touch identification <laughs> and I'll do all that now we'll come back with the other side and then we'll finish it off with the Zulu insignia okay we've now got uh, one two and a bit one two and a bit we're pretty much right um, looks good now getting these off, get a razor blade, um, and you just push it round the edge, and then take the razor blade off the edge, and just, um, I'll do it this side so you can see. Uh, you just take it round, just give it a nice little scissor, and then it'll just come off like factory finish. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. I'll show you this side. That looks actually pretty damn sexy for the budget price of $9.99 a bag pretty crazy okay guys I'll just show you one of the tricks to getting this off um, you just rub your finger on the edge there to get that little bend make sure it's down you get the razor blade here and you just just scissor it and look at this look at that lick your finger you would even know it's, it's factory finish on that okay guys we're gonna cut the rest of this off come back and We're here at Manly Dam where I normally do my testing. Here we have the two grip uh, grip tape. There's the uh, obviously the cheaper version from um, from M Boards. Uh, that is the 
hexagonal two inch square very thin and we have the uh, obviously the, the dope grip today we're reviewing on the own four wheel drive now the reason I'm doing uh, on the four wheel drive the reason I'm doing this is because it's a four wheel drive um, uh, I can come closer now it's fine um, the reason I'm doing that it's a four wheel drive hub motor system so what it does you've got no it's not forgiving it actually will vibrate because it's all hubs those of you that ride a hub motor will know that they vibrate more so we've got four hub motors on this testing it right out with the dope grip let's get out and ride both I'll tell you what I feel and what I think about the two dope grip here uh, on the, the cheaper versus the real dope grip okay I've nearly forgotten my helmet I better get my helmet Okay, helmet on. Um, always wear your helmet, guys. I can thoroughly recommend TSG helmets. These are the best helmets. Obviously, uh, the choice of Red Bull, um, they're amazing. So let's go on the four-wheel drive with the dope grip. Let's, uh, let's check it out. On the all-wheel all -wheel drive, four-wheel drive, Onan, and uh, yeah, this is a really rough part of the road. I'm just testing how good this is, and wow, I'm really impressed. This is a, it's an amazing feel. You can't move your feet. It's pretty much go around here. All the twigs and rubbish. I want to go over everything with this. Yeah, nice. Okay, so the immediate feeling is. Um, a feeling of uh, complete um, vibration damper effect. It really does work. Uh, yeah. Well, let's give you a view of it, and you can see what it looks like from the board view. Okay, so straight away, um, you can't move your feet much. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty much straight on there. Um, you usually can shift them around a bit, but you can't. I don't mind that, you're, you're locked in. Uh, you're kind of feeling like you're riding the dope grip rather than the deck. It's, uh, the, the vibrations are reduced by, I'd say, about 25% to 30%. Um, this Onan is extremely, uh, unforgiving because of its four-wheel drive uh, hub motors. I'm going over pretty rough terrain today here, like there's a lot of uh, twigs and bark and stuff. Yeah, it's, oh, it's feeling great. There's so much power. Yeah, no, this is, this is a nice, this is impressive. This is really nice. Go across these big twigs here. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Wow, that's, that's, that's impressive. Whoa! Okay, okay. As you saw on the ride, it's a very different feel. Um, I actually like it. Um, come a bit closer. That's it. Um, okay, it's a very, very different kind of feel. It actually, uh, it's like you're riding, actually riding the the dope grip. Normally, you feel you're on the deck and you're moving the wood in the deck, but because it's so high and so padded, you're like you're actually riding on <laughs> riding the dope grip. Uh, very grippy, you can't move your feet much on it. It's going to be a, a, something you get used to. Um, I like it, I think it's going to add an incredible dimension. It's going to create amazing uh, dampering effect on the four wheel drive owner, and it's going to make a really good effect on that. Uh, so far, amazed. So, so today's choice uh, on the dope grip, I'm going to give it a rating of um, 8.5. 5 out of 10. Uh, I do like it, but it's a different feel and it's high, it's spongy, there's a bit of movement there and you can't move your feet that well. So uh, now I'm impressed with it. So today's rating on the Dope Grip full unbox installation and ride, 8.5 out of 10. Really impressed. With the first ride of the Dope Grip, it is worth the money. It definitely does what it's supposed to do. Whether uh, it's your cup of tea, it's something you'll have to just test and try. But uh, yeah, really impressed. So if you want to know more about Dope Grip, there's a link below. 
check out Ben Buckler who has the distribution rights uh, here in Sydney and the link will be below and he'll look after you. Talk to Ben, say I sent you uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go on riding and test some more of it. But so far, yeah, really impressive. Love it. Okay. Here we've got M-board script tape. It's nowhere near as thick. It's, uh, it's virtually thin. You know, two inch hexagonals. They look, they look awesome. And uh, obviously no damper effect like you saw on the, on the dope grip. It's flat, you can see it looks pretty damn good. Um, but let's have a look at, for a budget, 9.99 for uh, 50 squares. Let's see what we can do. Let's go for a ride, let's check it out. Okay, we're off on the uh, budget dog grip. Uh, yeah, it looks, it feels great. You feel like you're flat on the board. I, I'm used to this. This is what I'm used to. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's very grippy. Um, it does feel very unobtrusive. Um, I like it. But of course, it hasn't got the cushioning of the dog grip. No way. Uh, this is a belt drive, so it's a lot more forgiving. Um, yeah. What can I say? Um, yeah, look, this is this is very different. It's a completely different feel. If essentially, you are getting the same feel as a. Uh, you can come in close. Um, uh, essentially, you're getting the same feel as a normal board, but the grip on this is pretty impressive. I love the fact because you've got the hexagonals, you your foot grips it more because you're getting in between those little gaps. No damper effect at all, but it works. And you know, for the price, if you can't afford dope grip, this is a good option. So I'm just providing today an option for you. Of course, it's the Dope Grip Unbox, um, which is obviously the higher rating. Okay, so my impressions of this is very impressive. It works beautifully, very sticky, and it's a really high quality product. The actual grip on it is like nothing I've felt before. It's actually quite a good grip. So today's rating for the actual uh, M-Boards um, Hex Grip, uh, I'm gonna give it a 7.7 7 out of 10. It's really impressive. So if you want to uh, get that, there'll be a link below to their product uh, here on the uh, on the board table. Wow. Okay, so yeah, really impressive. I love this Vesta board. Just... Okay, so that wraps up today. That was just showing you a little demo on. Uh... Guys, that wraps up for today. I hope you liked it. If you do like it, put a thumbs up. Uh, and we'll um, produce some more of these comparison videos of uh, products. Till next time guys, stay safe, it's crazy out there, and we'll see you in the next video. Andrew Penman, signing off.